Change. Gotta change. Excuse me, sir. Do you have any spare change just for food? Do you have any food? Uh, no, no. Are you serious? Get a job like everyone else. Stop being a loser. God, take a shower. Hey, excuse me, miss. Oh. Do you have any change to spare to help? Anything helps. What happened to you? I'm very sick and my social security ran out. I've, I've got pancreatic cancer and I'm in constant pain. What about your social media and your branding? I mean, there are places for you. You should not use that as an excuse and just strap yourself up by the bootstraps and do something with your life. I don't have a phone. Oh, I, you know, I know this struggle. You know, I am a influencer and I ha it's really hard for me to find friends. As a matter of fact, my only friends are on social media. Anyways, I'm, I think you're gonna have a great future. Actually, you should become my friend on social media. I'm gonna help, that is gonna really help you. You need to just do what I say. You're gonna be great. Yeah, anyways, gotta go, <laughs> bye. Excuse me, miss. Hey. Could you spare just some change for oh, food? I'm, um, I'm really hungry. Let me see. You know what? I don't have anything. But hey, here, look. This is my lunch. You can have it. It's not a lot, but just at least it's a little something in your belly. Oh my god. Um, and hey, I, I'm headed into an interview. On my way back out, I can I can grab you like some coffee or some water or something. That would be really amazing. Thank you. No problem. What's your name? I'm Steve. Hey, Steve. I'm Candace. Hi, Candace. Um, on my way out, let's talk a little more about, I don't know, maybe I can call someone for you or do something else, connect you with someone. I, I hate that you're out here. No, I don't, I don't have anybody. Oh, man. Well, I'll make sure to get you on the way back, okay? Thanks, Candace. All right. Somebody's late. Yeah, she was talking to the homeless man outside. You can't expect to get ahead if you always let others drag you down. And, um, how's one homeless guy gonna bring you down, Josh? Good afternoon, and welcome to the final phase of your job interview. A little backstory, uh, about, Three years ago, I created this little social experiment as a pre-screening part of job interviews for people that were interested in joining my company. Because before I was successful business owner, CEO Steve, I was smelly, lazy, homeless Steve. I was the guy that was too much trouble, that people didn't want to associate with that people thought was too much of a bother because he was just asking for their scraps. I lived in a bus terminal for about six months before I finally got access to the services that helped me get on my feet enough to actually apply for my first job. I wore raggedy clothes. I didn't have access to food or water or reliable sanitation. It was, it was a terrifying, challenging part of my life. But I believe it helped me value compassion in a way that I wouldn't have otherwise. Kindness is free. <laughs> Kindness is free. But when people behave in such a way that they feel as if their respect needs to be bought or earned with money or status, I, well, I have to question your ethics. I have to question your morals. Of the three people who applied for this job and came in for this interview, Candace was the only person who actually showed any humility, who showed any humanity. You know, she didn't unload her checkbook, she didn't pour out all of the wealth in her life, all she did was smile and offer genuine consolation, and she shared her lunch. She was generous, and she offered to help, and that is why I'm proud to offer her a full-time position with my company. <gasps> Congratulations. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Steve. Thank you. 
I will not let you down. This is not what my positive affirmations said today. I'm out of here. You can keep your job. Hey, Super Mission Squad. We hope you liked that video. Please make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and comment below. And please remember, kindness is free.